Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would give you a quick flip through of the journal that was made on August the 19th during the live stream. I used the Calico Collage Autumn Breeze digital download. This is a smaller download. It has eight journal pages and four fussy cut pages, and then there's an add-on of some additional journal cards and ephemera. This is the cover that I chose out of all the images. I did print it on a linen cardstock. And then let's go ahead and get through. There are 12 sheets of paper folded in half. It measures five and a half by eight and a half. Basically, I just used eight and a half by 11 paper and then folded it in half. So it makes it really super easy to make a journal. The printing I do on an HP printer, I have the instant ink program. So that means that they automatically send me inks and I only pay a monthly fee. And it's so much cheaper for me because I print a lot to pay the monthly fee and just have cartridges sent to me. So here are some pages that are part of the journal kit. This is one of my words that I sell in my shop. I have white words on black. I have a couple of different varieties of those. This is from the digital kit, but the background that you see here is all beeline designs stamped. So there's the tree, and here is, I can't remember if this is the Schumach or the other, but this is the duo that's stamped here and here. And then this is a skeleton leaf that's stamped here and there. I thought it was kind of fun just to be able to take a sheet of paper and just decorate it, spray it with a little bit of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This side I'm using the Maple Leaf Stencil and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I use, let's see, I use Halloween and Blarney, and I think we had a little bit of Sun Sisters in there. This is another one of the Fussy Cut Elements from the kit. And then these two stamps are another duo of little rubber stamps from calico or from uh, beeline designs these are elements that are part of the fussy cut this was a a long journal card that i made during the live stream i took a sheet of a hymnal that was out of an old book that was really dirty and stamped on top of it and this is one of the fussy cut elements that i put on top this is an element that comes from the digital kits the background is some of my mixed media pages that i made a week ago thursday this is one of my mixed media pages that i created and then i scanned it into my computer and have created this as a digital download another one of the fussy cut items there and there this is one of my items, but this is the Calico Collage items. Here's some more of the Calico Collage. Here is my pumpkin stencil in the background. And I thought it went well with all the pumpkins on the pages. This is another one of the fussy cut elements from the kit. This on top is another fussy cut element. And then this is a rubber stamp that I fussy cut out and then layered on top scrapbook paper there more of the calico collage this is one of mine this is calico collage this was a page that i found at starbucks i just happened to go in to grab a coffee and at the little bar where you get your condiments to put on your coffee and straws and whatnot they had these coloring book pages that they had copied and so i just grabbed one i thought it would look great in the journal and i think it does i did spray the back side with tattered angels and then i rubber stamped it another of the digital items as well here here and here and here more of this page i added this is one of the fussy cut items that i put on top it's a beautiful kit i really like the colors i like how well it came together i like being able to uh, put the rubber stamps and stenciling along with norella's designs she does a really good job this is one of the large corner pockets this is from the add-on kit i know that because there was two large postcards. There's another one right there. This is a mixed media page that I made and then I cut up and decorated a sheet of paper with. So a lot of people were asking me about examples of how I use these pages in the journal. I show a tutorial on how to make it, but then they're not really sure how it blends in with the journal. So this is one of those pages that is a tutorial concept that I share. 
this was the inspiration for the long skinny card someone had asked how this was done and I said this was a digital but then I created it in rubber stamping This is a scrap that I had left over from making some journal cards, and I just decided to put it on another scrap. I just thought it added just a little bit of interest. It's a fun journal. I hope you like seeing what I've done here. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I go live on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mondays are reserved for making journals, and Thursdays are for mixed media. I believe I'll be doing some gel printing at the next live. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, if you also haven't subscribed, please do so because I share lots of good things here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I do have a Facebook page as well as a Facebook group by Linda Israel. And then I have a large Facebook group called Friendly Junk Journal People. And it's the largest junk journal group on Facebook. And then there is the last of it. So there is the journal that I made. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Know that you can find the links to the products that I use in the description box down below. All right, everybody. Have a fabulous day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.